The sun-swept Bahamas is the scene of a key meeting between the two heads of state who have two critical problems to discuss. President Kennedy arrives at Nassau for his meetings with Prime Minister Macmillan of Britain. The two leaders face the tangled problem of what to do about the Skybolt air-to-ground missile. This is the nuclear weapon that the United States was developing for use by the Royal Air Force. After spending millions on early plans and tests that ended in failure, the U.S. announced it was scrapping the Skybolt. Britons were aghast, for this was the weapon Mr. McMillan's government was counting on as that nation's nuclear deterrent. In conferences which the two men held, it was decided that the Polaris missile could be substituted. This is the highly successful weapon that can be fired either from a submarine or from land. Eventually, Britain's Polaris power would become part of NATO's nuclear deterrent. Another problem high on their agenda was the rekindled crisis in the Congo. The U.S. wants more pressure brought on Katanga to force that secessionist province to join the central government of President Adula. The U.S. holds that this is the only way to forestall a new communist bid for power in the Congo.